What up boys and welcome back to another gold farming video. So in this video we're going to look at a gold farm that is quite similar to the murloc farm if you guys remember that one where it's based on killing a lot of mobs per hour and hoping to get those world drop epic items. And in this video we're going to be killing the goats. Some of you might have heard of the goats. I know it's been around on reddit and also the wild forums. But there's not a lot of people doing it, and I don't feel like there's a lot of people knowing about the farm. Me personally, I've known about the farm for quite some time, because a lot of people have told me about the farm, but I've kind of forgotten to test it out myself and so on. But I've been testing it out a bit recently, and I find that it's pretty damn good. Now, uh, first of all, when it comes to location, you want to go to uh, High Mountain, and this is usually called the Nessing Wary Farm because it's right next to the flight path of Nessing Wary. So you should have a mock for this farm so you can place the statue so all of the mobs around this rock can uh, run up and uh, get aggroed. They didn't just get a five man group, you get some people to stand on the rock and simply just kill the mobs. And keep in mind that if you have skinning, you're going to make a lot more gold because you can actually get between like 2,300 to 2,800 stonite leather per hour. That really varies with your rank and so on and if there's more than one people with skinning in your group. But that's pretty damn good. I mean, uh, that's going to be like 12 to 20,000 gold an hour just on skinning. And uh, the other place you're going to make gold on this farm is, as I said, the RNG element of getting the world drop epics. Uh, the epics, if you're level 110 while doing this farm, you're going to be level 101 and going to be, uh, they're going to be useful regardless of uh, what item level they roll because twinks are going to buy them, the 101 twinks, uh, similar to myself on this monk. And uh, besides from that, you have all green items. You guys can see in my bag, I got a ton of green items. I just disenchant these and I use the dust to uh, make toys and whatever. Uh, even if you just disenchant them and sell them raw, you're going to make like 65 gold average per green item. And uh, besides from the green item, you you have raw gold. You actually make like three to 4,000 gold raw an hour just doing this shit. You just sell these gray items. You can see this items, for instance, the intact skull. You can sell it for nearly seven gold each. I mean, that's so insane. You get these for like 260. That's also pretty damn good. And uh, then you, oh shit, then you have uh, the big, big gammy ribs, is that how you pronounce it? Don't make fun, I'm Norwegian, you guys can't make fun of me. You can see that the region sales average is 9 gold each on these. They're actually uh, 1 gold and 74 silver on my realm, but that's because that's auctionator with those values. So uh, you can see that if someone posts like a single uh, rib for 174 my add-on is going to say 174 because it just it doesn't update live my auction editor but according to tsm they sell for nine gold each and you should easily be able to get like a thousand ribs an hour so that's ten thousand gold for the ribs so uh, yeah overall this is a pretty damn good farm it's really hard to come up with a gold per hour on this i mean based on the raw gold and the green items and the ribs you're gonna make like 15,000 gold an hour, right? But then you have the RNG element. You're gonna be using a shoulder enchant on your shoulders so you can get those bags and you can get materials from the bags and so on. And uh, the World Drop Epics, which is like the holy grail, the big ticket. So uh, I'm gonna say this this is gonna net you between 15 to 50,000 gold, like all depending on uh, if you get a if you get an epic item, how lucky you are with green items with shoulder enchant and all of that but uh you can make way more than fifty thousand gold an hour as well don't get me wrong i mean you can get more than one epic item uh from this farm you can get an uh, epic item that rolls like level item level 875 that's best in slot like there's so many options so i just wanted to show you guys this farm because i know a lot of you guys really enjoyed the murloc farm and uh, this is quite similar to the murloc farm you don't get as many mobs killed per hour but it's def it's definitely up there with those uh, with those good farms so uh, please let me know if you guys like farms like this uh, if you do i will do more research to look for different farms because i know there's a bunch of these farms out there right you just gotta go out and look for them nobody is looking for them right now because people are busy doing old forgotten gold farms or professions but uh yeah that is basically it for this video so if you guys like this video please let me know in the comment section as i said and don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video until then
Bye-bye.